Hello again, this is Dr. Alvis at Montgomery College, and this time I'm going to talk about formal rules for morphological derivation. I'm going to talk you through one example, uh, unmindfulness. All right. And in this word, let's do a quick morphological breakdown. Unmindfulness. And we know that mind is our root, and so we have a prefix, un, and two suffixes, full, and ness. So let's use some simple formal notation uh, to see what that looks like. So let's start with mind. There, that's our noun. Okay, and let's use that as our input to derive uh, first an adjective. So when you add full the suffix, you get an adjective. All right. Let's create a simple uh, but formalized rule for it. So when you have the, f I'll call it the full rule. And so when you take that input, uh, uh, mind or anything, whatever that x noun is, uh, and you to that you add to that noun you add uh, full, you get an adjective. That's it. That's the output. And uh, so the meaning of this is to have plenty of x. And of course we know plenty of examples: uh, help, helpful, use, useful. Hope, hopeful, and so on. Okay. Now let's take that uh, uh, input there, the mindful adjective, and uh, let's make it now uh, negative. And so we're going to put un in front of it, and uh, that doesn't change the part of speech. It's still an adjective, but it's negative. And so let's take a uh, make a quick rule out of this, the un rule. Notice how I use the hyphen after it because it's a prefix. And so uh, uh, what we have, of course, is an adjective as the input. And we add un uh, to uh, whatever adjective there. Uh, and we have our uh, adjective but it's negative, all right? Uh, the meaning of this is uh, to not be x, okay? Now in our last uh, stage of derivation, uh, we take our negative adjective or positive adjective, but uh, in this case, negative, and uh, we're going to add that ness suffix on it, and that derives a noun. So let's call this our Ness rule, and in this case we take as our input uh, an adjective, oops, x adjective, and so uh, when you have that uh, x adjective and you add ness to it, it derives a noun, so uh, mindfulness or usefulness or any kind of ness that we know of, and the meaning of this is to uh, having the traits of x. And so we've walked through the process of deriving uh, unmindfulness uh, and looking at these formalized rules. And you should be able to try this out with some of the other samples that you know of or from those in our textbook.